For PE today, we're going to practice catching and throwing with a soft, floaty scarf. You need a material that's really light and floats if you throw it up in the air because that gives you more time to practice different kinds of catches. Playing catch with a floaty scarf really helps us work on our reflexes. You can practice your clap catches like this and you can work towards practicing one-handed grab catches like this. So when you toss, think about swinging your arm really fast with your hand open like a claw and then grabbing. So we're going to toss and grab. Toss and grab. Just saved it. Toss and grab. Toss and grab. First, take your scarf and fold it up so it's a little ball in your hand. I can make mine so small I can't even see it anymore. Then, bend your knees and throw your little ball up in the air. Keep your eye on it and watch how it floats down. Like that. Sometimes a clap catch is easiest with a scarf. When we catch with a ball, we sometimes do a teddy bear hug. But when we catch with a scarf, it's easiest to do a clap catch like this because it's very floaty. Let's do five tossing catches, not letting our scarf touch the floor. Two hands and clap catch. That's four and five. Easy, easy. Now we're going to get a little bit trickier and try to toss and catch with one hand. Make a small ball again, bend your knees and throw as hard as you can. You should be letting go with your arms up past your eyes, just like this. That means it'll look nice and high, so you bend and when your arms are up, you let go like this. And catch with one hand before it touches the floor. Let's try to do five one hand possible touches on this side. Good practice for your hand-eye coordination. Like this. Let's try our other hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good job. Now that we've warmed up practicing our quick catches, we're going to try to add some tricks with our tosses. You toss and spin around before you catch your scarf. Let's see. I'm making sure to bend my knees and I'm going to let go right up here so that it goes as high as possible. Ready? Let's count down from three. Three, two, one. Cut it! That was tricky because it kind of floated away from me. Try to toss and touch the floor before we catch. That's tricky because we need to touch the floor while keeping our eyes off the scarf. Three, two, one. Floor and catch. That almost landed on my head. Three, two, one. Floor and catch. That's tricky. Three, two, one. Okay. For our last scarf throwing trip, try to throw it backwards and turn around and catch it. So I'm not going to let go here, I'm going to bring my arms farther and let go up here so that the scarf comes behind me. So on three, I'm going to swing my arms and let go up here. One, two, three. And turn around and cut it. Let's see if we can do that three times. This is what it looks like from the side. One, Two, three, and turn around, catch. One, two, three, and catch. Super tricky last challenge. 
for a super tricky extra challenge. We're gonna try to let the scarf land on our foot. So we're gonna do a big throw, but try to get our foot under it before it lands. Pitching with your feet is not easy, so it's okay if this is a bit hard. Ready? Let's count down from three. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 I just missed. Let's try it again. I caught it. I would be very impressed if you can touch on your foot. It's pretty tricky. Let's try tossing over our head and catching with the other hand. So my legs are a little bit apart, and I'm going to swing like I'm a lever, like this. And when my hand's up top, I'm going to let go and catch with my other hand, like this. Let's see if I can do it the other way. I'm practicing my grab catch, but you could also do a clap catch if that's too tricky. Like that. Clap catch. Great job practicing your coordination. I hope you had fun playing catch with our scarf.